Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a favorites video of a lot of things that I've just been loving the last few months. Some of them you've probably seen on Reels and TikTok, all of that stuff, but I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I haven't even shown yet, so we're gonna dive right into it. I hope you all enjoy this video. Let me know down below, with... so down below in the comments what your favorite product was from the month, and let's go ahead and hop on into it. <laughs> Okay, first we're gonna start with hair, body care, and then we'll dive into all of the makeup. First favorite. I never honestly thought I would be a heatless girl's, girls? A heatless girl's girly. But I'm obsessed with it. Ever since I got this one, it's a little bit bigger. This is the Kitsch XL. I do have this tied because they have it to where it has a flat top, which is nice. It is comfortable, but at the end of the day, it's much easier for me to tie it up and then do my heatless curls. I just did a heatless curl video where I tried out a different method. Now this right here is all heatless curls, but this is not that method. This is the other method that I really love to do. I just love the way the curls turn out for me. So again, if you guys want a video on that, let me know down below in the comments. But the previous video, it still shows all my steps in my routine before I do my heatless curls. And then you can see the outcome of that upside down method. But I love this curler. I love that it's a little bit thicker. It's a little bit longer. And for hair stuff, I never talk about these products. So I figured I would chat with you about them because I get questions on if I use them and I only use these products if I have to for instance hairspray the living proof flex hairspray is one of my favorites it says it has heat protection I don't know but it's a medium hold hairspray it's for styling and finishing I use this if I'm like doing a blowout living in Washington it's raining all the time it's drizzling there's water in the air all the time unless it's the summertime I specifically like to use this if I do a blowout as kind of like my finishing touch or if I have like little flyaways like I do here I'll just kind of touch them up with this it really is a great flexible hairspray. It's not gonna be heavy. It's not one that's gonna hold till the end of the day, in my opinion, but it definitely helps, you know, helps with taming the hair, holding everything. So I like it. Again, my hair holds a curl really well without products. Like this has nothing in it other than just the heatless curler. I like this as my hairspray. Like it's just, it's not heavy and it's doable. I normally don't gravitate to hairspray because I hate that sticky feeling and like the crunch, you know? That one does not do that. Then, this texturizing spray is insane. So I got caught into an ad with this on Instagram and I was like, fine, I'll try it. Actually, this is like one of the best brands out there. This is Style on Steroids Performance Enhancing Texture and Finishing Spray. Sexy texture and record setting results, non-stiff, non-sticky with thermal protection. This gives so much volume without being heavy and gritty. This is what it looks like before. I mean, it has volume, you know, it's not bad at all, especially with the this curl method, but adds that beautiful texture it's not overdone it's not overly stiff but it gives that really pretty look and it's not like gritty I hate when they're gritty you know what I mean when you get texture sprays I've used a lot in the past for ponytails though like there's like the navy hair care texture spray I really love but I also really love that for a pony like my pony when I have that texture spray in, is incredible. But like for something like this where I'm trying to, I'm not necessarily wanting to wash my hair anytime soon. I still got like three days in me, you know what I mean? Um, I don't want anything too gritty because I hate like brushing through it. I feel like it breaks your hair when it's too hairspray-like in my opinion. But like that just gave some volume, right? So I'll just lift it up a little bit. And it just gives the volume. Now, you know what I mean? It's not like dramatic, but especially if you touch your hair throughout the day, it just keeps the volume going. It's, I don't know how to explain it. I don't even know if it's like coming across on camera how nice it is, but it's really good. If you're looking for a texture spray that's not overly heavy, overly gritty, doesn't feel like hairspray, this is the one. It's so good. I think I inhaled probably half of what I just sprayed, sprayed up. I'm surprised I haven't turned into a cherry limeade after discovering this flavor. I absolutely love it. It's like a treat. I have it every single day. Pretty sure I've talked about this product on here, but I want to get back into it and let you know how much I love it if you have not heard me talk about it before. This is a Natrium Salicylic Acid Body Spray 2%. This is the only thing I have tried for my back that has worked incredibly. If you have body acne, especially like back knee, 
this is the go-to. It does not have an intense smell. It has a great spray. When you go to flip it upside down and spray your back, it's an even mist. I recommend applying it when you first get out of the shower and you have like your towel wrapped around, you spray it on, let it dry for a few minutes, and then put your clothes on. I've had some people ask if it discolors the look of your sheets or your clothes or anything. I have not noticed any of that, um, but I also let it dry before applying clothes or anything. So this is it. This is the move. Truly, I feel like to see a big difference, you have to use it every single day. Like same with your skincare on your face. Don't forget about skincare for your back. I have gotten into some new perfumes. So I picked four that are like top tier for me right now. And I want to go, how should I go? Fall to summerish. So I feel like this is the, oh my God. <laughs> I feel like this is the perfect fall scent. I love, I think it's Delina by this brand. I don't know. I am not good with pronouncing any of this stuff. Okay, like the names, they're too much. They're too much, okay? But the perfumes are fantastic. So between this one and the next one, you're going to be like, mm, she doesn't even know the names. And you're right. You're right. I can't pronounce them, but I still love them. <laughs> but this is the Parfums de Marly Paris, and this is the Altair. Altair? It's Altair. What is that from? Is that from a movie? Oh my gosh, if you guys know if that's a reference from a movie where it's like Saltair, Maltair, something that's going to eat me alive. This is a fall scent. I would not wear this other than like the fall and winter time. I'll leave the notes on the screen. It smells so good. A little bit of spice in there, but it's like a warm, cozy scent. Like you just want to wrap up in a blanket, put your scarf on, just like cozy up. That's what this gives me. I was watching another YouTuber, I believe her name is Freya, and she mentioned this like months ago. And I was like, well, because she compared this and said, if you like the Delina, if that's the name of it, then you'll probably like this one. And I was like, okay, I know I like that one, so I trust her. I'm going to try it, and so I tried it. This is not a cheap perfume whatsoever. It's definitely expensive. I would recommend, if you can, trying it in store before buying. It's, in, it's super expensive. But this bottle, if you drop, nonetheless, this cap on your toe, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's a heavy bottle. I would not travel with it, but it smells delicious. The other perfume that is incredibly expensive, but really good if you're in the market. This is another one that I just bought off a of whim. And you know what made me buy this? TikTok. And I am so glad I did. So this is that Mason Francis line, his perfumes. <laughs> What's the one? Baccarat is the one that everybody loves. I don't like Baccarat. I just don't, I don't know. The smell of it just is not my favorite scent. I don't like Baccarat. But this smells really good. This is Grand Soir. Grand Soir. It just smells like, this is a year-round scent, in my opinion. I would wear it year-round, and I would wear it all day. I know some people like to do, like, morning scents, evening scents. I'm wearing this all day. I paid for it. I'm going to wear it all day long. Like a clean warm. Hold on. I got to look up the notes because this one is, like, quintessential fall. Fall, fall, fall. But I need to look up this one. And I don't know if you guys know this, but they have like refills and like travel sized perfumes. So instead of spending the hunk of change on this, okay, Tonka Bean Vanilla Amber. Oh my gosh, yes. Benzoin? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay, the Vanilla Amber for sure. Oh gosh, it just smells so good. And it smells expensive. It smells bougie. Bougie, as it should. This is one that I got in Dallas um, back in October. We all went to Sephora and I ended up grabbing this perfume on a whim. I was not trying to travel with a full size perfume. But this is a Joe Malone English Pear and Sweet Pea. I believe I got this because Lydia Millen talked about it and I usually like what she recommends. I went to Scotland and ended up finding a perfume there that she had talked about. It is my sacred Scotland perfume, like my fragrance. I don't tend to like associate fragrances with time periods of my life but that one that's the one i will forever remember i got it in when we were in edinburgh and i can't remember exactly the area but oh my gosh i just remember when i smelt it when i walked out the door all the things looking at the beautiful scotland it was just amazing so this is not a fragrance video but i just have to put that out there but anyways i usually like what she recommends and this english parent sweet pea Ooh, this is good I think they have another one that's just English pear. I'm usually not a big pear person, but I think the sweet pea helps me with this. I also, if you don't know, I love florals. I love roses. And again, I do feel like this could be used year round, but spring and summer, 
oh, it just smells so clean and floral and beautiful and fresh. Like, but just be sure you get the English Pear and Sweet Pea. I believe it's a different bottle. This one has like all the ridges, which is gorgeous. And then this Dime Beauty. Oh my gosh, this Tuesday date night. Every time I wear this perfume, I get a ton of compliments on it. Ooh, some people say this is more masculine. I could see that. This is a clean fragrance, by the way, and I feel like sometimes when you hear clean fragrance, you don't necessarily think like longevity or potent or anything, but this lasts all day day all day it is so freaking good um so let's see the notes of this one is somewhere to be found cardamom iris violet leather smoky sandalwood cedarwood amber of course that's why i like it i love sandalwood cedarwood i love amber and lots of musk yep no pepper what do i smell Maybe sandalwood. Maybe I smell the smoky sandalwood. That might be it. <laughs> I kept you there for a hot minute with fragrance. I'm so sorry. All right, so next up, my own nails. I'm doing my own nails at home now. I am done going to the nail salon other than for my feet. Sometimes I got to go for my feet. You know, they just work them up a lot better than I can. I grabbed OPI dip powders from walmart.com. I know some people were kind of like, is that actually OPI? According to what I was looking at, it's OPI. <laughs> so it was, cause you know how like Amazon and Walmart, places like that, they have sellers that sell on their website. It's not necessarily from Walmart direct. Person that I bought this from was OPI. Hopefully it's the real thing. <laughs> I believe it is. So I got three colors, actually a four, but the other one's downstairs. Color I have on right now is things I've seen in amber green. It's so pretty. Then I did this one over the holidays. This one's big apple red. I feel like this is a common OPI color. It's really a beautiful red. Might do this one next. This one is the That's What Friends Are Thor. I love these dip powders. I'm still trying to get better about it. So it's kind of funny because like this is my left hand. This is my right hand. And my right hand is just busted and crusted. But my left is doing really well. And that just shows I think like what hand what's my dominant hand. Obviously like I am right handed. So I'm guessing that's the problem. But I was like, why does this one look so good? I know I did something right on this hand. I'm still trying to get better at it, but these OPI dip powders have been my favorite. I also have tried some from Amazon. I'll link them all down below for you that I really like as well. But once I got my hands on the OPI ones, I just really like the colors. So these have kind of been my go-to. Really recommend it. I was doing gel and then I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do dip. And I do think dip is a little bit easier for me personally. But I will say like every time I go to do my nails, I always just put like one video on just to make sure I'm doing it. <laughs> doing it right last couple skincare products and then we're gonna dive into all the makeup so I tried out summer Fridays their cloud dew oil free oil free gel cream and their rich cushion cream the ultra plumping moisture both of these are amazing this one as a daytime moisturizer this one as nighttime this is incredibly hydrating it is so nice it's a thick cream it is beautiful as I have a scent the glass bottles on these are incredible this is a great one to wear if you have oily skin during the day and you want something underneath your makeup this is your girl and then quick shout out love this uh polish choice two percent bha liquid exfoliant incredible incredible I'm telling you, this will change your skin. If you have dry skin, any skin type should be using this. To me, it's very gentle. It's not super harsh. It helps with my pore size. The texture of my skin, since I switched to using this into my daily routine, game changer. Since I started using this in my routine, I, my texture of my skin is like, unmatched nothing no like micro beaded exfoliant has ever made my skin feel as good as this does not getting rid of it they did come out with another one i really want to try but i'm not getting rid of this i have to have it um and it says it unclogs and shrinks in large pores smooths and evens tone lightweight liquid absorbs quickly 100 percent agree with that also i used to apply it with my shiseido um cotton pads i just now put it on my hands and go and it works. So if you don't want to use cotton pads or like waste them on an exfoliant, just put it on your hands. It works. It's the same thing. And then last but not least, the cream from Tan Lux. So this is a face self tanner, but in my opinion, the best way to describe this is it's literally a body butter self tan for your face. It is so nice. It's gentle. It's not too dark. This one, I don't think, oh, it's a gradual tan, but it has really great color payoff. So I'll use the um, Loving Tan Platinum. You know how dark that one is. And then I'll put this on my face. And first of all, my skin is very hydrated because when I do stuff like that with my face, Face. I don't put another moisturizer on because I'm going to put self tan on anyways, but this kind of acts as a moisturizer It is so heavenly and thick. Let me show you 
I kind of messed up last time I did this because I squeezed out too much. But, like, do you see how thick that is? It has a little bit of a self-tan smell to it, but it's not bad. It, but the texture of this is just, it's incredible. I love it. It is a gradual self-tan. It's not gonna be like stark dark, you know what I mean? But it definitely helps if you don't wanna self-tan your face with your same body self-tanner because it helps blend them together. All right, let's dive into the top foundations I've used over the last probably six to eight months. This is no surprise. So the Lancome Mint Edel Ultra Wear Foundation. The one I have downstairs, I am almost out of. I think this is so great. It's a very lightweight foundation that blurs the skin and it really helps even it out. It lasts all day. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Now these two, I don't necessarily, I cannot pinpoint to you what the difference is because I do like them both. Every time I use them, I like them both. I'm looking at my skin because I used this one today. This is the Light Reflecting Foundation. I've talked about it many times. It's so good. But I also love the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I don't know which one I like more. <laughs> I would have to do like a side-by-side -side test. Maybe I'll do that for a future YouTube video because I don't know what the difference is. Like I feel like what I would say I like about this one is the same reason I like about this one. But they're both good. <laughs> and they both work for my skin. I just, I cannot tell you the difference. Just, then they're good. They're really good and I've been using both of them constantly. I was surprised by this. I don't like a lot of Tower 28's products, not for any particular reason. I just never really found one I gravitated towards. This is their serum concealer. This to me is just gorgeous. It has great coverage. It's hydrating underneath the eyes. It is beautiful. I love it. And I've noticed after using this, I could use other concealers. Like today I use the Urban Decay Quickie. It's so much more drying. And it just, I need, I don't need drying under my eyes anymore. I'm 32. I gotta have hydration, you know what I mean? Even though I don't have a ton of lines or a ton of dark circles, I still want hydration. And this is by far the best. I love it. I will probably be out of this soon because it is my preferred concealer. Let's talk about touch-up powders real quick because I'm about to touch up now. This one's Bobbi Brown's Vitamin Enriched Pressed Powder in Neutral. Oh my gosh, you guys. This powder is so smoothing. And if you're just like not loving your base, or if you just want to touch up like I'm doing now, you go in with this and it is incredibly smooth. Beautiful on the skin. I love the color of this neutral shade. And it's, and it's super smoothing as well. And it does have really great coverage. This is one of my favorite powders to touch up with. The compact is beautiful. Definitely more on the pricey side. I also still love the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed Powder. But there's something about this one. It's like a little bit more blurring and a little bit more coverage. And some days that's what I want. Whereas this one is it's pretty blurring, but it's not as much coverage. So it kind of just depends on what you're looking for. But as for touch-up powders, these two, definitely my go-to. Like they're incredible. And then for setting my makeup, I love this powder. I'm almost out of it. It's the Givenchy Prism Libre in Rose. It takes a lot for me to use up loose powders because I have A, a lot over there, but also because once I find one that I love, I usually always go back to it, and that's how you can always tell the ones that I really love. This one sets your makeup really well, and it is beautiful. It's smoothing. It looks stunning. I love this rose shade as well, and I think it's just great. I think it's a good powder. These e.l.f. liquid blushes are incredible. I have yet to show them in a video because like every time I go to film, a lot of my makeup is downstairs too, so I'm kind of just going back and forth. Oh my God, look at the colors of these. Beautiful. They are very, very pigmented. They have a lot of color payoff. Start with one dot, blend that out, see if you need a little bit more. Less is more. Or more is more if you're like me and you just keep applying it. But the three shades I have, and this is literally all I need, is Coral Crush, Coming in hot, pink, and then pinky promise. These are beautiful. Obsessed with them. They last all day. They are so good from the drugstore. And they're not like too greasy. I think we've finally gotten to that point where like there's so many cream blushes now that are not super heavy. They're not like oily. I feel like a lot of the cream blushes that have come out, especially from e.l.f., have really worked well with textured skin, oily skin, and I just appreciate that. So speaking of cream blushes though, let's talk about a couple high-end ones because I do have some high-end ones. This Patrick Tall, I love this because you have a powder and cream in one. And I know there's a specific way he likes you to use it. I believe it's like powder first and then cream on top. I don't do that. I do the cream first and then the powder because just with my oily skin, like I don't like my cheeks to look dewy, especially with my texture. It's just, it's not my favorite thing. So I always do the cream first and then the powder and it works well for me. But this one, I love a hot pink. This one is She's Giving and she is giving. 
Love the little tab right here to keep the cream and the powder separate. It's just beautiful. Very pigmented. I have this one on today. <sighs> Stunning. Nothing bad to say. I think it lasts all day too. And then another one of my favorite brands for cream blushes, Dennis Amirix. I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with a lot of her stuff. So this one looks busted and crusted. Let me just keep this one like a little bit farther away from the camera so you don't judge me. This one is Bellini. <laughs> This one is one of my most used cream blushes and I also love this one. This one's in Jubilee Stunning. This is more for like every day I don't normally gravitate to these blushes anymore just because I love a pop of color on my cheeks But this is great for me to have in my collection. I use it a lot too. You probably can't tell but Where's it at? Let's focus on it. Yeah, she's used a lot but my newest one too just because I love a poppy blush this prima donna <laughs> She is beautiful, and she's so much more bright than it looks on camera. Like, oh my gosh, she's stunning. I don't use her as much, but man, she's gorgeous. One of my top favorite cream blushes. This might be a dupe. I need to do another dupe video soon. Cream bronzer. I have been using Dibs Beauty a lot. This one, I don't know the color of this one. I think this is 5.5. I could be wrong. I love the bronzers on these and the blushes. They have another one. So I have a couple of these and I kind of swap between the different colors. It'd be really cool if they came out with like where you can create your own stick. That would be amazing now that I'm thinking about that in my head. Because I use like certain blushes from different sticks and not the bronzers and you know so on and so forth. So I would love to do that. But so creamy, easy to blend. It's like basically foolproof. If you're trying to get into cream bronzers, I feel like this one's the least intimidating because it's so easy to blend. You could get their brush too. And it works perfectly with it. Like, you'll you'll love it. So, I used to have a code with them. But I can't remember what it is. But if I find it, I'll link it down below. But I'm not positive. For highlighters, I got the, over, like, Christmas, I got the Wet n Wild Marilyn Monroe collection. I think this, this and a few brushes were, like, the only things I kept. I gave everything else away. But this highlighter, look at that. <gasps> no. This is, like, one of the most beautiful highlighters. Wet n Wild just... They do such a good job, truly. It is so intense, but it is beautiful. One of my favorites, a great drugstore highlighter. If you're looking for one, it's a nice pan. I love Marilyn Monroe on the front. She looks beautiful per usual. This one's the Cool Champagne, by the way. For mascara, I actually recently tried this out in a recent video. You either seeing before this or after this. But this is a Polite Society Greatest Lashes of All Time. This gives you demi wispy lashes without the lashes. It is so good. I do feel like you have to build it up to get that really intense, bold look that they have on the packaging. But the way that this separates your lashes and volumizes it, like it is so good. It like grips every single lash and fans them out. It is a good one. And I love this packaging too. It's like oval, so it's easy to open. And then speaking of lashes, I just have to shout out my Impress by Kiss. My goodness, I have not used like strip lashes since discovering these. I think they are incredible. Um, I love the voluminous ones. These are, yeah, a little bit leftover of voluminous. Today I actually have on a different set. Natural and wispy, just press and go. These are a little bit wispier, but they're very long, so they still give you a dramatic look. Love them. These are like my favorite things. And then for lip products, Makeup Forever's Lip Pencil. This one is in the shade Full Scale Rust. These lip liners are really nice if you haven't tried them yet. But this color is like a great everyday color for me. It's like in between the pink, a little bit of a darker nude. It's gorgeous. And then two lip glosses I love. This one, I don't know if you can get any more because I know Jaclyn's brand is closing down, but this was the Jaclyn Cosmetics Pink Pop. I, think, I don't know if this was the oil or the gloss. I don't know, it's really good. And then these, the Morphe Drip Glass Drench High Pigment Lip Gloss. This one's in the shade Wet Peach. This one's so pretty. I love that this has good color. It is so glossy. Gorgeous. This is one I like take on the go. It's usually in my bag. I had it in my downstairs makeup area and it's beautiful. Okay guys, that concludes my favorites video for the month slash six months since it's been so long. I wanna try to do monthly favorites. It's gonna be interesting to see if I can include new things. I think more than anything, I'm just kinda like going back to my stash for a lot of stuff and just using what I have. If new makeup gets into it, great. If not, maybe I'll share next month like things that I kinda put on the back burner but still use. But I love favorites videos. I love seeing what everybody loves. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.